We are working with the Department of Natural Resources right now because in the state of Wisconsin we have several different kinds of problems with our groundwaters, particularly here in the Madison area and the rural areas we have problems with nitrate pollution. So if, if I actually took my laser beam here, let's, maybe we should turn the lights off. We actually work in photocatalysis, which is uh, cleaning water by using uh, semiconductor particles in thin films, and we get rid of organics in that way uh, using light, basically ultraviolet light, in some cases visible light. You're actually looking at light being scattered off of nanoparticles that are of the order of two nanometers in diameter. We use these particles, like the aluminum hydroxide over here, like the silica, like the titanium, to coat things. And using different particles, we create different kinds of materials. The other thing that we've been doing as of late is we've been working with capacitative deionization processes. What we do is we apply an electric field, and the electric field drives the positive ions to the negative electrode and the negative ions to the positive electrode. And the water in between these electrodes then is clean. This is a uh, prototype of a residential deionization system. We take the stream of water that contains ions, it goes into the capacitative deionizing plates. There, the ions are removed until the plates are fully charged. Then, the flow of water switches to the other set of plates, and the ions come out in a more concentrated solution than when they went in. So you get a clean stream and a concentrated stream. It's a fairly classic uh, chemical engineering separation process. The system that we're building right now can be used as a home water treatment device, so you can use it in your home just as you would a home filter. So our problem is to get this technology from the laboratory out into the real world.